What's up guys, we are here with SPL Sunday Remedy vs. Tov. This is for um, DPP and it's Classist vs. Sharks. I think the score is 3 and 2. For the classes, I don't remember if it's for the classes or for the sharks. So we see Shooker Berry hit and get up the rocks turn one. As uh, it eats up an earthquake. Thanks to the Shooker. And Brilliant comes out and Toph gets up the rocks. Nice play. Brilliant's actually a big threat in DPP. Of course, I was just ready to eat and this game started. Classic. That always happens. So, Ice Beam Swamper is really nice. Not allowing the Bruno to get up a substitute, but it's really risky to stay in again. Um, Gengar would be a potential switch in. Damn, this guy is wild. He really predicted him to not go for the grass move. There's a Zapdos in the back. Which takes rocks. But yeah, Brilliant um, gets walled by Zapdos. I guess he just wanted to sleep for this one, but that was really well done. Yeah, the Focus Punch doesn't do shit, and he gets roared. And a Gliscor, um, which doesn't have Poison Heal in Gen 4, if I recall correctly. It only has Hyper Cutter and Sand Well. So we see SD Gliscor. I don't know what they run. Like, Earthquake is obvious, but what else do they run? Ice Fang, okay. It's life orb, that's an interesting set. Damn, Zapdos ate that for lunch, plus two Ice Fang life orb, 66 only. So offense, um, defensive Zapdos for sure, as we see a Snorlax. Um, do they run Curse in this end, in just Gen 2? This could run Pursuit too, or Crunch, okay. I didn't realize that was super effective, that did nothing. So I don't think this has attack investment. Body Slam, damn, the peril there would've been huge. I don't know if Body Slam works in Gen 4, but I assume you can get a Para as well. Like, I assume the mechanics are the same. Because paralyzing this before the Toxic Orb would have activated would have been huge. Watching Focus Punch on a Roost. Damn, you really. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't Focus Punch on a Roost predict, because that's too obvious. Like, Toph can predict that. Chat is saying Toph is so good. Like, I don't agree with sacking. Like, I, I said watch him focus punch on a roost, but, it, but then I would Like, I was about to say, I don't think he's gonna allow that. But they already pl made the play. They're kind of playing fast, which is nice, because I don't want long games out here when I'm trying to eat. So, does that. This Snorlax is some weird four attacks or three attacks. Like, I don't think it's curse if it showed three attacks. So he's trying to get Paras still, doesn't get any. The Snorlax seems so weak though, like the Crunch did nothing to Starmie. Yeah, that's the Para finally. What item is this? Could it be Rest of Chester? I guess it could be Rest of Chester, it doesn't have to be, he's not cursed then. Oh yeah, you can paralyze Zapdos too. There's a crit, which shouldn't matter if he has rest. Yeah, you can paralyze electric types in Gen, I think, 4 and 5 and before that. I think in Gen 6 they changed that mechanic as he gets paralyzed there. It was Custerberry tank, Custerberry Bronzer. He didn't go for rest there. Costa Bronzing is odd, like I mean it's a cool sad. Wait. Was it Costa Bronzing or Costa Snorlax? I didn't pay attention. It was Costa Snorlax, my bad. I was about to say uh, there's no way Bronzong got a cust either Costa berry when it's at fifty when it's already when it's below half health. So Snorlax crit the uh, Got a full para and a crit. Like it got two full paras and a crit. So Kingdom can um, potentially go for Rain Dance or Dragon Dance. But um, it's gonna take a lot from offensive Starmie. 
Um, this is a defensive star me though, because it ate the crunch from Snorlax. So I assume it's at, at least max HP. Yeah, that T-Ball does nothing, so if he DDs up here... Is he Signal Beam? That's so weird. Life of Kingdra, what? There's a Blissey, so he assumes it's um special Kingdra, which makes sense. Like, he already showed Signal Beam. I don't think it makes... This is weird, like, didn't DD Kingdra just win this? What did he have for DD Kingdra? Dude. Does Blissey run Ice Beam in this? Seismic Toss, I assume Softball. Stealth Rocks. Actually, never mind. The other had Brocks and Bronzong. Yeah, it runs Ice Beam. Potentially Heal Bell. I don't know if it gets that in all the gens. I think it does, yeah. But I never played these gens, so I'm not 100% sure, but it should. But its last is a Jirachi. Hmm. Pretty sure Torf should win this, as he, especially because he doesn't get flinched there. Gets the T-Wave off. Plus he just walls the entire squad. Yeah, the Jirachi didn't work there and it's pretty much over now. It's gonna... Dude, watch this have flamethrower too. Oh, never mind. We always see this set. Seismic Toss, Ice Beam, Thunder Wave, T Softballed. Yeah, already, everything revealed. Like, what does he have to stop this? Like, nothing. He can't just click X. Remedy can kill the X. Like, Softball is gonna slowly kill his Jirachi now. He cannot flinch it anymore because he's paralyzed. I guess he's trying to end it faster with an offensive one, which is nice to see. Man said, eh, GG. He just forfeited. Okay, I guess there was no point in playing it out. Um, we can look at the score again. I don't remember. Yeah, it was 3 2 for the class. Yes, so after this, it's. 3 and 3. The Sharks won this one. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will probably upload this after, so I don't know why I showed you guys the score, because. <laughs> The score will already be out in my the, I might show it in my other videos. And the uh, RS and Sun Moon games that I record later and stay tuned for um Playoffs for SPL. This is the last week before playoffs, so that's gonna be hype. We have I think semifinals coming next week. I don't know if it's next week, but it should be, right? So I'm pretty hyped for that. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.